Imagine you found a promising new crypto project and want to buy its tokens. Where do you go? For most, the answer is an exchange. These platforms are the entry points to the crypto world, letting you swap traditional money for digital assets like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Exchanges provide the liquidity and access that fuel the entire ecosystem, making crypto accessible to millions. But with this convenience comes a catch trust. When you use a centralized exchange, you hand over your money and control. The exchange acts as a custodian, holding your funds and managing trades, much like a bank or brokerage. This model is easy for newcomers, but it introduces risks, hacks, bankruptcies, or frozen accounts have happened before. The spirit of crypto is about decentralization, yet most exchanges are centralized. This contradiction sparked the rise of a new model, the decentralized exchange or DEXs. DEX aim to put power and control back in your hands. To understand DEX, let's first look at centralized exchanges or CX. Sex like Coinbase or Binance hold your crypto for you, just like a bank holds your cash. Trades happen off-chain, updating balances in the exchange's database, not on the blockchain. This makes trading fast and user-friendly, but you don't control your assets. If the exchange is hacked or shut down, your funds are at risk. Enter the DEX. Think of it as a digital farmer's market. You trade directly with others, wallet to wallet, using smart contracts. On a DEX, your crypto stays in your own wallet. The platform never takes custody. There's no CEO, no central vault, just code running on the blockchain. This removes the single point of failure and gives you true ownership. While smart contracts can have bugs, DEX eliminate the risks of centralized custodians. The result? More control, more transparency, and more security for users. The magic of a DEX is that it removes the middleman. On a CEX, you deposit funds and trust the platform to handle trades. On a DEX, you connect your wallet and trade directly from it. Let's say Alice wants to swap ETH for USDC. On a DEX, she connects her wallet, finds the trading pair and initiates a swap. The smart contract handles everything. It pulls ETH from Alice's wallet and sends her USDC in a single atomic transaction. There's no point where the DEX holds her funds. She keeps self-custody throughout. This peer-to-peer -peer model is transparent and permissionless, aligning with crypto's core philosophy. No intermediaries, no gatekeepers, just users interacting directly through code. The process is simple, secure, and puts you in control. That's the revolution DEX bring to digital finance. How do DEX match trades and set prices? Two main models exist, order books and automated market makers, or AMMs. Order books list buy and sell offers, matching users at agreed prices. But on-chain order books are slow and costly. That's why most DEX use AMMs like Uniswap or PancakeSwap. AMMs rely on liquidity pools, pools of two tokens locked in a smart contract. Anyone can provide liquidity by depositing equal values of both tokens, earning a share of trading fees. When you trade, you swap with the pool, not another person. The AMM algorithm adjusts prices based on supply and demand, ensuring there's always liquidity. As more people buy one token, its price rises in the pool. This model makes trading seamless and always available without traditional order books. AMs are the engine behind most modern DEX. The defining feature of DEX is self-custody. You control your private keys and your crypto. Your funds stay in your wallet. You only grant smart contracts permission for specific trades. This protects you from exchange hacks, insolvency or account freezes. No one can seize your assets or block your trades. If a DEX website goes down, the smart contracts still run on the blockchain, keeping the market open. But with this freedom comes responsibility. Lose your private keys and your funds are gone. No customer support can help. You're your own bank and your own security guard. DEXs also have unique risks. Buggy smart contracts or phishing scams can drain your wallet. Navigating DEX requires caution and understanding. The freedom is real, but so is the accountability. True financial sovereignty means you're in charge, good and bad. Today, DEX are a vital part of the digital economy, not just a niche experiment. They represent a shift from relying on intermediaries to empowering users through open, transparent code. DEX are the foundation of decentralized finance, enabling lending, derivatives and more. Anyone with a wallet and internet can access these tools, no bank required. DEX can help bank the unbanked and democratize finance globally. Challenges remain high fees, complex interfaces and regulatory uncertainty.
But the rise of DEX shows the enduring appeal of decentralization and user control. Centralized exchanges will still play a role, but DEX are building a parallel resilient financial system. The real magic, giving people true ownership and freedom over their money.